Hey guys, this is emeek 77 and this particular tutorial is for Skyfilth. He uh, emailed me and specifically wanted to know how to do a specific title sequence. And I went in and started fooling with it to see what I could come up with. And I think I found exactly what he wanted. So this is for Skyfilth. If, if nobody else is interested, that's cool. But uh, if you're interested in Final Cut and a, title, a little short title sequence, maybe you'll pick up something. So as you can see, I've started here with a clip. It's an HD clip. As you can see in my canvas, I'm going to play through it a little bit so I can show you what we're starting with. As you can see, it's a really nice BBC motion gallery clip that I've got, and this is what we're going to work on. So, let me show you what we're going to end up with. Over here is our what we're going to end up with. And um, let me let me play through this so I can show you what we're going to end up with. very complicated it's just a quick little uh, animation of you know video transition and placing the videos in different parts of the screen I'm just gonna go through it for you and show you how it's done it might not be exactly what she's looking for but I hope it's close enough so let's go back to the, our beginning here and start from scratch so the first thing I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to cut up my clip so I'm gonna play through my clip and place an edit wherever I think is going to be a good spot for the clip to fade out and fade back in. So I'm going to play through here and place my edit points as it plays. Maybe one there. One there. Put one there. And there. That looks good. And there, as you can see, it's leaving little red marks there. And we'll do one more about right there. And boom, when I stop playback, you can see it's inserted all my edits. So what you can do is you can use the razor blade tool and go through and just ch ch cut wherever you want your title to your video to fade in and out at. Uh, or you can go through and just place your edits as you go through like I did. Razor blade tool or whatever, however you want to do it, it's fine with it's either way is great. So now we have this clip that is broken down into several sections. So what I want to do is, I want to click on my first clip. I want to make sure my pointer is selected here. And I want to double click my first clip so I can load it into the viewer. And now it's loaded into the viewer as you can see with in and out points around it. The length of the clip. And I want to go into my motions tab. and I want to scale it down 50 percent 5 -0. and when I come back out you can see this has scaled the clip down tremendously we put the playhead over it as you can see this is what it was like normally and this is what it was like after I set the scale to 50 so now that I've got this clip double clicked and loaded into the viewer I clicked on the motion tab and set the scale to 50 and now with the playhead parked over that clip I can see my clip in the canvas has shrunk and I want to take it and drag this movie somewhere other than the center of the canvas I want to put it up here in the corner like that then I'm going to go down the line and double click my next clip and put my playhead over it and now you can see the next clip that we have is loaded into the canvas and the viewer Again, I want to go into my motions tab, 
set the scale to 50, just like I did the first clip. And I'm going to, over here in the canvas, I'm going to drag it maybe down here to the bottom right corner. Like so. Okay. Go to your park the playhead over your next clip that you've, that you've cut. Double click it to add it to the viewer. Again. Set your scale to 50. And there's no magic number here, guys. Just put the screen somewhere else besides the center or, or somewhere else besides where you had had the last one positioned anywhere it don't matter you know if you want to you can try to plan out for titles and stuff your positions so I'm gonna go on down the line here click the double click the next clip set the size to 50 and position it maybe up here at the top double click the next clip under the motion tab, make the scale 50, just like all the other clips. Make sure your playhead is parked over the clip you're working on so you can see what's going on. Move the box. As you can see, this is just a process repeating itself for every edit we've made. So the more edits you make, the more you'll have to do this. So let me breeze through these last few clips about here. Put this one up here. Double click my next clip. Set the size to 50. Position it down here, maybe. Next clip. Editing can get quite monotonous. But you learn to deal with it. You learn to make fun of it. Enjoy it. This is a great creative process. And if any of y'all is fortunate enough to have Final Cut Express or Studio, you should really learn all you can about it because it's an excellent, excellent, and very powerful application. Okay, I'm doing my last clip now. Set my last clip size to 50. And maybe drag it. I'll leave it right in the center. I'll leave that right in the center. Now, as you can see, when I drag back through my sequence, my videos bounce around from place to place. Oh, goody. Oh, tweet, tweet. Oh, toot, toot. We're getting there, right, folks? Okay, now that we got our videos bouncing around the screen, we need to get our fade in and fade out, and that's just like the easiest part. The transition that you want to apply is under Dissolve. Click Dissolve, Cross Dissolve. Now with what Cross Dissolve, what you want to do is click and drag Cross Dissolve to, to the edit point, and you'll see that you can drop it right on either side of the edit point, or right in the center of the edit point. What you want to do is you want to drop it right in the center of the edit point. And I want to stick it right in the middle. So, add a cross dissolve to every edit point. Again, I want to say right in the middle of the edit point, not on either side of it. So I'm going to go down through here and add a cross dissolve to every place that I've put an edit there's much simpler ways to do this you can copy and paste but I'm doing it the old-fashioned way so maybe nobody will maybe miss what's going on so now that I've got our cross dissolves put in to our edit points As you can see, they're fading out. Starting to, to look a little bit better. I can push Option P to do a slow. This is what we get. I've added the titles myself. You can go through and do that however you like. I've just put the titles in there to juice it up. So, you know, just imagine what it would be like without these titles. I don't know if you like them or not. As you can see, I'm pretty sure that's the exact same effect you're looking for, man. I hope this has helped you out a little bit, or at least put you in the right direction. If not, send me another message, man, and by God, I'll make you another one. Try to be more clear this time. Later, man.